In Eastern Railroad President's Conference versus Nor Motor Freight Incorporated, the United States Supreme Court held that efforts to influence government action are immune from antitrust liability, even if the advocated for action is anti-competitive. Immunity protects the First Amendment right to petition. In Allied Tube and Conduit Corporation v. Indian Head, Inc., we explore the scope of NOR immunity. The National Fire Protection Association was a private organization with members from public and private entities. The association published the National Electrical Code, which established product standards for electrical wiring systems. The code enjoyed widespread use in the private sector and was often adopted by state and local governments. The code covered electrical conduit, or the tubing carrying electrical wires. It was historically made of steel, but in 1980, Indian Head started selling plastic conduit. It filed a proposal with the association to include plastic conduit as an approved material in the next code edition. Allied Tube and Conduit, the largest steel conduit manufacturer, worked with other steel manufacturers to pack the association with 230 new members, who voted against the proposal, causing its rejection. Indian Head sued Allied, alleging that Allied violated the Sherman Antitrust Act by conspiring to unreasonably restrain trade. Allied argued that it was immune under the Nor Doctrine because its conduct was intended to influence the association, which was a quasi-legislative body because governments adopted the code. The district court held in Allied's favor. The Second Circuit reversed, rejecting the association's classification as a quasi-legislative body. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.